So to prep the surface, what I did was smooth out the rubble that's on here. I've cut a piece of 2x4 that's long enough that I can drag it across the surface and see if the layer, the space between the 2x4 and the gravel is enough to hold the concrete. Okay, so I was recommended to leave at least one inch space. Um, we'll be using sandcrete. No, it's called it's called sapcrete, sapcrete concrete mix. Um, with this type here, it says it's meant for two inch or more of a thickness. So this I see is about an inch and a half. I was recommended that it should be okay. So we'll see how it works. Um, on top of um, smoothing out the layer of gravel, I've also used this tool here to flatten it. Okay. Some people say you don't really have to do it, but just in case, I want to make sure that. Um, everything's nice and compact underneath, okay? So I spent about half an hour packing everything in, um, and also I poured water uh, throughout this whole layer, okay? Uh, the water is gonna help some of the soil underneath settle and some of the gravel settle in, so it'll give me more clearance if I need. And also, the point of adding extra water in there beforehand is so that the cement can bond properly with the concrete mix. You'll notice the left and the right here, I actually have extra ABS tubing around my uh, drainage points, okay? And the point of this is that afterwards, um, I don't have to break the concrete again in order to get my attachments in, okay? If that makes sense. So my attachment should sit flush, am I right? It should sit flush with the floor, but I have this in the way so that later on, I can take this back out, saw it to the length I need, and then put it back. Okay, so obviously my toilet is not going to be this high off the ground, hopefully. Um, so I've asked, because I don't know how thick my subfloor is going to be yet, I've asked the plumber to leave me a lot of extra room, and this is actually still movable, you can see here. So it's still movable, and I can still adjust the height of how high this flange is going to be afterwards. So first step is to uh, smooth out the layer. Second step, add all the water in, pack it in tight. Okay, so if there's any high points, this 2 by 4 will be able to tell where it is. So even there, you see some of the stones there are a little too, too, too high. So we'll pack that in a little tighter just to give it more room. Okay, so uh, kind of mapped up how I'm going to do it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mix the concrete. And yeah, should be good to go from there. issues that I ran into was I was using some older cement bags that I had lying in the garage. I don't think that was the best idea because I found that my cement was kind of more clumpy, it was harder to mix, um, it left a surface that wasn't a perfect smooth finish. Um, so I used a newer bag for the first um, for the first hole and it turned out great. But the second hole, I didn't even know it was, it was an issue to have old bags of concrete. Uh, but apparently the adhesive in it uh, kind of dries out after a while apparently anyways it still worked for now i haven't tested it i don't know how hard it is but when it hardens i'll let you know if i have to redo it or not so far um i actually ran out of concrete so for this small little square footage here i had six bags of concrete and i went through all of them i went to home depot again bought another five uh five bags through the pandemic so obviously everything is in lockdown i had to do the online order but thank god they were really really quick uh, they, they received and prepped the order within, I don't know, an hour. So I'm back here again, uh, remixing a new batch. And that's when I realized, holy crap, this is way easier to mix than it was the previous batch. So lesson learned, um, buy your concrete when you need it. Don't stockpile your concrete like I did. Right. This is a quick look at the progress. You can see there's a lot of imperfections here, the edges, the middle there's some parts that just don't have that really smooth finish that i was looking for or the smooth finish that we had in the other side over here 
So if you look on this side, this looks a lot smoother than it did over that way. Okay. Um, with this new cement, uh, the new bags of cement I bought, it should be a lot better. This is mixing three quarters of the bag because my pail is a little too small. So as you can see, the consistency, it's not too, um, what do you say? It's not too soupy. It's nice and clumpy. Um, I think I could add a little more mix to this, but this would do. So how it works is the more water you add, the weaker it is. So if you want strong concrete, you want to add a little less water. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have a scratch coat over it anyways. Uh, and I packed the bottom layer down pretty good. And with it being two inches thick, I think this should do the trick. All right.